Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4. Today we're going to be showing you how to redo a 22RE rear main seal. So the first step to this process of redoing a 22RE main seal is definitely draining your oil from your engine. Um, because what we're going to be doing is taking off, once you have the transmission and everything off, you take off the backing plate of the rear of the motor and we're going to take out um, the little five bolts around your crankshaft and pull that out. When you pull that out, there's nothing to hold your, your oil from coming out and pouring out onto your face. So um, definitely make sure that you drain your oil first through the drain plug at the bottom of the oil pan. And then we'll show you on the next step what is coming up. Step two is fairly simple. Once you have the transmission off, you're looking at the back of the engine here and the on, you need to get rid of the backing plate, get rid of that so you can get access to the crankshaft. And so on Bobcat, we only have one bolt. It looks like a 12 millimeter. So just remove that bolt and your backing plate should come right off. Here we are looking at the back of our 22RE engine here on Bobcat. And you can see this is our crankshaft right here. Um, this guy here is what turns. That's what your transmission goes into. I'm um, sorry, your clutch goes on your flywheel. Your flywheel's on this, then the clutch, and the transmission's in the clutch there. Um, but this guy here is what does the spinning of their flywheel. So um, this seal right around here is what we need to take out and we're gonna replace while we're in here. Uh, we don't have anything wrong with the seal on this one here. We just figured we're this deep into the engine, might as well replace it so it'll be good for another 30 years. So this seal here, there's two ways to get it out. You can either undo these five bolts and these two underneath on the oil pan. Uh, which then you have to end up redoing all your RTV and everything. Or you can just get a hammer and a screwdriver flathead and hammer it in here on your seal, pry it off, and bada bing, bada boom, there goes your seal. And as we showed, told you, oil's gonna leak out. We have a little bit of residual here from after we drained it clean it up and there you go your rear main seal is all gone out we can trash that one and I'll put in a new one all right so we have our new seal here and pro tip when putting in seals you want to make sure that the the lip here that's going to be sitting and sealing up what you're trying to seal up and in our case the crankshaft here we want to put a little bit of grease inside here um, so we keep it all nice and sealed um, as well as we can so all that entails is taking a little bit of grease, put it inside our ring, inside our seal, and just spread that around. Um, lube is good. Lube is good for your engine. So get as much of it on there as you can without making it extremely messy and coming off all over the place. But you can almost never have too much lube. All right, now that we are lubed up, we're gonna position our seal over our crankshaft and See if we can get this gently, gently, gently is the key word. So you don't bend your seal right back in place here. That metallic noise is a good noise. That means your seal's going in, it's getting nice and flush. And there you go. Your seal is in. Go ahead and wipe away the excess grease on your crankshaft there. Um, it's not necessary, it helps, but um, we want to keep that off of the flywheel as much as possible. So just wipe as much of that away as you can there. And then I'll show you guys, it should be all set, ready to go. So there you go. Once you have it all buttoned up, then you can put your transmission back on, uh, set everything back up and just the way you had it. Super, super easy job if you already have the transmission off. It's literally like a five, 10 minute job as you can see from the video. So. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, definitely, if you're doing any transmission work, you already have it off the vehicle, this is one of those things that you should do, even if you're not having any issues, any problems with it. Um, just do it, it takes no time at all, and it'll last you another 30 years on your mini truck. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hammer down on that subscribe button. Make sure you're following all the goodies that we got going on. And remember guys, keep crawling.